workshop. I have people helping me, but no one does the faces, which is the main part of the carving. And that's my part of the work. If you notice the faces, how happy they are. You always see Christ said, look at his face. Okay, and I only use grade A olive wood. What does that mean? It will never split, it will never crack, because I know some of you live in a very dry climate. If it is not has been treated well, it will split and crack, then it will be only olive wood for the fireplace, which we don't need, it will be too expensive to use for the fireplace. That's why any piece you get from Omar, it's all guaranteed for lifetime. Seriously, Elder Holland personally, we have one of my set like this since 38 years. And till now, every year comes to Israel and so Omar, I still have it. And I use it. And so far, I have sold 17 of them for his kids and his grandkids. They just walk in and tell us, Omar, give us Elder Holland set. <laughs> I name it according to his name. Okay? This is an Omar shop where he makes all these carving. With this table, seven, eight hundred. With this table, six fifty without. Please, BYU price. My dear. So six fifty without. Yes. 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 And then seven fifty with what? Eight with this table. This is walking on the water. Okay. And you know, I'm showing you all the options. Here we have that set also. To the left. Here it is. And here is the garden cube. And once for one reason, good luck. We have tradition here. The first one bring you luck. Eighteen months. And that's yeah, why. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. First one. So how much is that? I'm on. Oh, you're getting calculated. Here's our bus. Uh, Israel Reveals bus with Daniel Lomas. We're on our way this morning from the Dan Jerusalem Hotel. We're going to the top of Mount Tabor and this little village across on the hill is Cana. Cana, we're close to uh, Nazareth, but that's the village of Cana. This is on the uh, way up to the Mount of uh, Mount Tabor, which is commonly thought to be the Mount of Transfiguration. Uh, that's what legend uh, basically says. And across over here is the village of Cana. Cana. Yeah, this is a church on top of Mount Tabor. We'll be visiting. These are the grounds. Some of our group. Here are the restrooms. Catholics basically take care of this church. Friars. It represents the uh, Transfiguration. Yeah, this is the Valley of Armageddon. Off to the right is Carmel Mountain. It's the whole valley. This is in the church, here in the top of uh, Mount Tabor. This is not painted, that's all in stone. 
facing each other in the uh, house with a triangle behind it. I would say very mindful of the creates a very scary day. This is the third chapel. You saw the first, the second, this is the third. This is the chapel of Elijah. Out of transfiguration. Some of the videos are we produce for television. But what I'm going to Here's suggest a, um, a, a look at you. We're leaving to go down from Mount Tabor now. Here we are for lunch in Tiberia. I'm not sure what we're getting, but I think it's going to be good. There's the menu. This is the place we uh, just had lunch at. It's pretty good. And right next door, of course, is a gelateria ice cream. And they're all in there getting their ice cream cones. Or ice cream. But his disciples. On their way, a storm hit, which was calmed by Jesus. The boat came to rest on the eastern shore of the sea. In the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Mark, we learn that Jesus was met by, quote, a man with an unclean spirit, who asked Jesus for help. This was the immersion font. Here. Look at the floor, it was pretty. And it was raw before they put this on. This is part of a town. This was a center. This 
temple existed before the temple in Jerusalem was destroyed. Much, Show your for <laughs> much like the synagogue at uh, Burnham. We're not scanning. <laughs> Every synagogue has two reserved seats, one for Elijah and one for Moses. There's a sunstone, very similar to the sunstones we see in our temples. That's about 1,800 years difference in a whole different uh, part of the world. synagogue there is a deportment is that a right word there's a pattern there's a, for religious jews aren't that many that are religious five or six percent quite religious ten percent more this is looking off the porch of our room at the north genosar uh, kibbutz in uh, galilee and out there you can see the sea of galilee and surrounding areas. Now tomorrow we're going to be at uh, Capernaum. We'll go to the Mount of Beatitudes and a few other uh, spots around the Sea of Galilee. I believe that over there is Tiberius. I know we'll, I think we'll have lunch in Tiberius tomorrow. Where we ate today was not Tiberius, even though I mentioned it on the tape. This is looking uh, off the front out of our porch, not our porch, our front door, to our room here at the Naf Jinosar. Uh, I need the key. Just a moment. Very pretty place. A lot of uh, Israelis come here for vacations. This is our meal with the kibbutz. Pretty good. This is one of the three sources of the uh, Jordan River. We're in Tel Dan. It's the Tel Dan Nature Reserve. Yeah, this is the Nature Reserve, but this area basically is where the tribe of Dan was uh, located up in northern Israel. This is another uh, tributary to the uh, Jordan River. This is up near Mount Hermon. Wow. You can catch the uh, audio here too. <laughs> here, here the Phillips family. Here we are in Capernaum, where most of Christ's miracles were performed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
There's the caricature of St. Francis of Assisi. This site is uh, basically run by the uh, Franciscan monks. Lovely date tree here. St. Francis of Assisi uh, wrote the song, All Creatures of Our God and King. These are parts of the synagogue. We'll see the synagogue in a moment. It's basically over here. Now this is Peter's house in Capernaum through the uh, centuries. This is the synagogue at Capernaum, uh, built by Roman. It's pretty much Roman design, but Roman was a believer. Now this was part of the uh, town of Capernaum. Statue of Peter, Sea of Galilee in the background. This is looking out at the Sea of Galilee from Capernaum. Okay. Yeah. 
If Chuck would eat it, then he'll appreciate a picture of it. Okay. Jamie, here's your uh, St. Peter's fish. Looking mighty good. I'm always in all. I know. Don't even make me out. And fried rice is good too. There's a the little boat we're taking a ride on in the Sea of Galilee. of the Beatitudes uh, where Jesus gave the Sermon on the Mount. It's directly above uh, Capernaum. Up on the mountain above Capernaum. This is inside the church on the Mount of Beatitudes. Again, this is outside the church on the Mount of Beatitudes where Jesus gave the Sermon on the Mount. It's absolutely gorgeous up there. That's the Sea of Galilee in the background. Here we're going to see a boat that was dragged out of the Sea of Galilee some 2,000 years old. This is a caricature of the uh, boat had it been finished. our beach right out by our kibbutz. Beautiful. That's the Sea of Galilee, and across the way you can see the uh, Golan Heights. We're in the uh, city of Tiberias now, in the city of Barbados. And then the most on the, the Jews that you know or are acquainted with in America are the Reformed. For example, 
the Orthodox would never mix meat and dairy. <laughs> so the meals that we're eating at the hotels are kosher. And so you would not get butter at the evening meal because it's a meat meal. You got margarine. We're quite strict about that. On the other hand, uh, the conservative might uh, I, uh, might be a, a little more liberal about that. Definitely the reform, um, an invitation to Berkeley, uh, if any of you are into music, Berkeley uh, College in Boston. And next to Let's it see, are some British roof buildings, in Nazareth. and that's a, a, a kind of a scholastic uh, uh, Catholic uh, center, and underneath one of those buildings is a seat. Fellow this here is standing uh, here. Nazareth, the width of our aisle of was kind of a spiral uh, path down into a cave. So you make a half rounded turn, and then you're down underground. And I'm chuckling, and somebody says, Well, what's funny? And I said, well, I guess he was making doll furniture. This is an upscale now, neighborhood in, moment, in uh, Nazareth. Because we're right and, opposite. Uh, and these are just individual or, uh, you full of duplex type homes. Uh, scriptures and your earphones handy. We're just a lot of people uh, use our little chairs from the uh, helpful, be helpful. There are some park benches that we can sit on. You know, the, the neighbor, the uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, looking out over computer the type uh, valley. We'll talk about areas live in these drive through it. houses. Okay, this we're just, a, we want to time it so that we're there at the last battle. Upscale area <laughs> in Nazareth. A lot of tech industry close to here, and so many from the industry live in these uh, these upscale places. The smallest of these run about uh, half, a, half a million dollars. Somebody's got the microphone and it's on. Okay. This reminds me of Coming down off the hill now. Park. Now this is a little local park. This is taking a little while to... This is the Arab village of Iksod. We are currently in the port of Haifa. We were actually here in 1999. Baha'i Gardens here in
pretty. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this is the aqueduct, the uh, Roman aqueduct in Caesarea. Yeah, it goes on and on and on and on. Develop the uh, water to uh, provide the water to uh, Caesarea. To Caesarea. Okay, this is the uh, Mediterranean in uh, Caesarea. The aqueduct behind it. Here's Jenny. <laughs> Getting in the Mediterranean here. Caesarea was originally three miles long and a mile wide. Caesarea. This is a hippodrome. Totally round. for production here. There's Janie. There she is. <laughs> the 
little wedding going on here. Very nice. In the background there you can see the uh, city of Tel Aviv. This is the Dungate entrance to the old city of Jerusalem. This excavation was done about 30, 35 years ago. That's the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall. This is the uh, Western Wall. Women on the right. Brethren on the left. That's the top of a Corinthian column there. That's the El Aqsa Mosque. There's the tower to call the prayer. We're on the Temple Mount right now. This is the Dome of the Rock. The Alaka Mosque. Up on the Temple Mount. And back on the other side is the Dome of the Rock. Again, the Dome of the Rock. Built in 691. Tile work is Persian. Dome has been regilded.
This little one is called the Dome of the Chain and has 17 pillars. You stand in one place, you can see all 17 pillars. This is actually looking up to the Mount of Olives. Across the Kidron Valley, looking from the Dome of the Rock. This is the north end of the altar, most probably, where sacrifices were done. This is the Lion Gate. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Your hand, Bill, so I know where you are. Okay. Muslim cemetery at the base of Gate Beautiful. This is a wall by the Jaffa Gate. This is probably the best place to take a picture of the wall. This is the Jaffa Gate. And you can see some beveled stones, which are the old stones. And uh, We're inside the walls now of the old city. One of the three towers that Herod built, Faisal, uh, they believe. <laughs> this is in the Jewish Christian uh, quarter. Uh, this is actually the Arab section headed toward the Christian and Jewish section. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and this is the slab where Christ's uh, body was prepared for burial. This is about 
about a 17-year-old mosaic. And character of Abraham, his hand raised above his head when he plunged a dagger into Isaac. This is supposed to be the exact spot where Jesus was crucified. This would be the post. The stone of unction where Jesus' body was prepared. This is supposedly the tomb uh, that Jesus was uh, buried in. However, we know that uh, the tomb was hewn out of a rock. And uh, highly unusual that this would be uh, the place. This is the Jewish sector now. You like to sell the red one or the blue one? This one, the large one. We're actually here in the Jewish quarter now. We're just uh, getting up to it. This is the mall, 2,000 years in it. There were stores in between each of these columns. here in the Jewish quarter. This is the Jewish quarter here in Jerusalem. That's the side of the mosque. They got the synagogue. And they got a minaret. Over there, and if you look in the background, way back there, you see a cross. So you see Jews and, uh, and uh, Arabs and Christians all live together. This was known as the Rhodian Quarter. Down underneath. 
They had a merging cycle in their own home. You can see this is merging. Yeah, it was an there urgent farm. These go back to 600 BC, I think I said. Some of these. Kind of an idea of what it looks like. To the wall. School class. On to the wall. Shalom. 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 Ask a mosque over there. Oh, I have caricature of a menorah here. Seven lights in menorah, seven candles. It's the official symbol of the state of Israel, the menorah. That's the western wall That's over the there, beyond the... Uh, wall, isn't it? And you can see the Dome of the Rock. This is the corner of the temple. Imagine it twice as high as you can see it now. the corner of the temple. Those arches were entrances to the temple. And these steps led up to the other red entrance by the wall. You can see it up there by Brother Shumway. I brought you a drink. Singing as they went. We're heading out to the uh, Mount of Olives. Remember the priest and, we met at uh, Jaffa so yesterday? This is the road going up. He was referring to the Apostolic Delegate's residence. Yes. There's the Temple Mount. This is looking over the Kidron Valley and you see all the gravestones down there. All the feet point toward the temple.
size of the temple was huge. See the stones on top of the graves? of our friends riding the camel. Don't get too close, he'll spit at you. He's not too happy. By the way, the camera's name Kojak from Ohio. Mama to Pierre, Mommy! Good together, good together. There goes Natalie. Natalie's taking her camera ride. Come on, Mama, bring the camera, bring the camera. That's Natalie. Take a ride yesterday? Yeah, I've done it many times. Bar Mitzvah family down there. This is a fountain where they wash their hands prior to prayer. It's got to be running water, so they have cups underneath the faucets, which are under faucets are under pressure, so the water goes into the cup and they pour the cups over their hands. And we're here at the Western Wall. See the Western Wall of Solomon's Temple. We are at the wall. Bar Mitzvah day to uh, prayers at the wall. See in the wall, there are little pieces of paper. These are not prayers, but they're names of people that the Jews put in there. There's a chief rabbi here at the wall, and he takes them out and actually uh, burns them. They're, they're considered very sacred. Instead of burning them, they bury them. They actually bury them. And the rabbi, the rabbi, it 
never reads them. He just buries them. same on both sides and that's the reason there's spaces in the middle uh, but every tourist scroll today is exactly the same no matter what size every third line is the third line on the fourth column or a scroll whatever a piece of parchment or leather is that cool yeah get a, 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 a really close up look you can see how they fasten
אשר בחבלנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו, וארוחתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. אתם ניצבים היום כולכם לפני אדוני אלוהיכם, ואשכם שבטיכם, ויזיק לכם ושוט עליכם. כל איש ישראל, תפכם לשכם בגרך אשר בקרב מחניך, מחותר אצלך, ג'וב ממך לאורך הבפית. אדוני אלוהיך ובעלתו אשר אדוני אלוהיך קוראת עמך היום. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו ‫תודה <laughs> 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 עץ ואבן, קצב את אבא של מאפן יש בכם, איש או אישה או משפחה או שבט אשר לא ירבו פה להיום, ואם אדוני אלוהינו ללכת לעבוד את אלוהי הגויים ההם, כן יש בכם שוש פרוש.
upper room. Well, it's Christ and the apostles met for the Last Supper. This is the building that we were just in. This is actually taken from the Garden of uh, Gethsemane. The Garden of Gethsemane. A holy place. How many times I would have gathered thee as a hen gathereth her chicks, but you would not have. So this is kind of this house behind the tree. Where's the restroom? Is it Salvan? Where? Oh, right. Yeah. Is the Yeah. So they lived kind of over there? So it's Caiaphas' house, church over it today. So come on into this little area if you will. Uh, place of the skull, Golgotha. The place of the skull. This is the garden too. <laughs> oh, 
yeah. Look at the pomegranates up there. Oh, pomegranates. This is a garden around the garden, too. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Inside so a sheepfold in here. Or if a storm breaks out, this will be a little safe place for the sheep. Has anyone raised sheep here before? Yes. We had uh, Can't sheep doubt. for hours. <laughs> dumb, little dumb sheep do oh, yeah. Put their heads together. <laughs> stay there for I hours. You three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, yeah. just let your crouch over. Here. You put their heads together. And they're just a humble little creature. And they'll stay there. Okay, whereas the goats... Uh, yeah. That's the sheepfold that we were just in. This is the city of Bethlehem. Overlooking it from a hill. And they got it still 20, 20 centuries later. <laughs> and, it, and it's contentious there, too, because the, the, the possession is based on minutes. If, if one mass is a minute longer than it's supposed to be, then the other churches are... <laughs> There's a little shepherd boy here with a sheep. Little boy here. Uh-uh. There they go. This is a model of the city. That was Herod's palace. That one with the four towers is the Antonio Fortress built by Herod, actually Herod's palace. And that's Temple Square, right back there. If you come closer, you can see this is kind of the downtown. There are not many, but there are some back behind that already have down. domes. Because if you want a larger room, you dome your ceiling. Thank <laughs> you. 
And if you look at the model, those houses with domes are literally wider than the other ones who just have beams across the third courtyard. And there's a holy of holies with a sunstone over the door. Can you see that? That's the uh, holy of holies. The clouds. Really quite good. With the sun. Amazing. Outer inner holy of holies. So the temple is not a temple. This is a dome, and it's actually a, a fountain, actually, to represent the lid of a Qumran jar, where the scrolls are found. This is interesting, uh, it kind of uses a pipeline, and as you can see, there's a lip on one that fits into the other. This dates back to Herodian times. This is the Jerusalem Center for Eastern Students, Brigham Young University. This is where we're having our branch uh, meeting today on a Sabbath, Saturday. These are the grounds of the center here. They're very beautiful. And this is our group all ready for Sunday services. There goes Jeannie. You're going to push it round. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is at the BYU Center. <clears throat> it is absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Wonderful place. The chapel is upstairs. And here is the view. Unbelievable. Couldn't be a better view. There's a temple mount over there, the Dome of the Rock. This is all taken from the BYU Center, and it is one gorgeous day. This is the Sabbath. Here to attend our services with the Jerusalem branch. The sky is just cloudy, gorgeous, just a beautiful day. Flowers. Miniature carving of the old city. Some of the steps coming down to the landing area where we are. Very pretty. Very pretty. And the chapel is behind those doors or windows. In Jerusalem. That they didn't have a priestly class and the high. This is a community in which they live.
This was a font in which they cleanse themselves, I think twice a day. A dipping font. Uh, yeah, this was a ritual bath here. You see it's kind of big. Does that screw you up with birds or anything? No, it's... So... There's a hole in the floor inside. They found some 400 documents. an immersion font here. Well, looks like one for men and one for women. So this community is right next to the, uh, the Dead Sea out there, which is about 17 miles wide. This community was here for about 270 years. This is Kumar National Park where we just were. Uh, this is, I, I appreciate the comments that somebody said, well, there, so they weren't made uh, they, were they, were they really so all male? Uh, that doesn't make sense. About 47 miles down is the length of the lake, and that's where the Dead Sea uh, He was state president of Masada. He made it Where in we're headed. 17 minutes. Here we are at the Masada National Park. This is looking back at the Dead Sea. Masada was about a mile long. Thousand zealots that occupied uh, Masada. So that's the 
Dead Sea. This is Herod's personal residence up on the north side. These are some of the storage rooms that Herod used to store his food. And some say he had a supply to last nearly seven years up here. This was a cistern that was used to collect the water. And then they, uh, once the water was, uh, as I say, used, it actually went down through the bottom there where they had uh, charcoal. They had a charcoal filter to re-fix the, uh, the water so it was drinkable. So this is a synagogue. It dates back to about 70. This is the ramp that the uh, Romans built to come up uh, with their battering ram to get into the Mas Masada. It's about a third less in size now due to erosion. Lunch. Amy's on her way down, at least to get her foot in the water. This is the uh, Holocaust Museum, Yad Shahim. Very interesting. We were here uh, on our last visit to uh, Israel, but uh, one of the place to visit to really understand uh, the Holocaust. Yad Vashem. Yad Vashem. This is the Holocaust Museum. That's where we came out, the exit over there. Are you going to stay out here? photographs around the uh, Holo Holocaust Museum. Yad Vakem.
outside the children's memorial with all the candles. Beautiful memorial to the children of the Holocaust. It's a tree dedicated to the Schindlers. And this is it. This is a scripture from Ezekiel 3714. I will put my breath into you and you shall live again and I will set you upon your own soil. This is in front of the uh, Holocaust uh, Museum. Okay, we're back outside the walls of the old city by the Jaffa Gate. Just heading down to the Jaffa Gate from here. There's Janie. Janie! Oh, there she is. Wave a little. Okay. We're on our way. This is David's Tower by the uh, Jaffa Gate. We're going up and do the uh, Ramparts Walk over the Jewish Quarter. Okay, this is Jane getting up on top of the ramparts. As oh, you can see, it's between the walls. We came up, <laughs> part of it is. And this is David's Tower again, right here. We've got a long way to go. Uh, this is looking down from the ramparts that we're walking. And I think they're on the side on the north end, I believe. I think David Star again. Well, we've walked the pit of the ramparts. Now, so we're seeing it from a little different perspective. Okay, this is a shot of the ramparts in the other direction. This is where we're going to be walking. Beautiful. We're continuing with our walk over the Jewish border of the ramparts. Beautiful. Graves are all placed with the feet toward the uh, Temple Mount. Very interesting. That's the church. And they got uh, people buried up uh, there as well. Caiaphas house where we were the other day, and very close to it is Schindler's grave. Al-Aqsa Mosque. That was the pan around and around. We get the Dome of the Rock. This is a uh, corner of the Western Wall down here. The minaret in the background. That is directly in front of us, uh, just to the left, the uh, Western Wall. Another bar mitzvah. This is the wall. Western Wall. We're here again. Now playing the harm here at the drop of the gate. 